On the banks of the Guadalquivir River, one of the greatest mosques ever built overlooks the city of Córdoba. A reminder of the times when it was the center of Al-Andalus, as Islamic Spain was known. Inside is almost like stepping back into that time. When Al-Andalus fell, defeated by Christian forces, so did Córdoba's influence as a grand center of civilization. Over time, the mosque became a cathedral. The Roman Catholic Church became the authority, denying all other religions. These days, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it belongs to the public. Now the church is looking to secure its hold over the site, and it's in the process of registering itself as its sole owner. This complex housing, a cathedral built inside a mosque, is for many a potent symbol of a multicultural past. It is a source of pride here, reflecting a golden age in Spain's history. But for some, what the Catholic Church have done here has been tantamount to almost stamping out its Islamic identity. A million people come here every year, paying $10 to visit. That entrance fee goes towards the maintenance of the site. And in the last 20 years, the church itself has invested $27 million in its upkeep. But its acquisition of the site has drawn widespread criticism, even from UNESCO. But the church maintains that it is a Catholic site. Our ownership and management here are evident. No one can question it, even if others think otherwise. Critics say that the church's attempt to own the site is to do with revising Spain's history and that it is trying to whitewash the powerful hold that Islam had here. It's as if the Arabs who came here were Muslims and that there wasn't a time where the majority of the people here were Muslims. Arabic culture is acceptable, but not an Islamic one. A past where the city's Muslims, Christians and Jews lived in relative peace alongside each other is what Cordoba sells. Those who come here will find a city as beautiful as it is fascinating. And the coexistence that is so often talked about is what Spain's government needs to preserve if Cordoba is to live up to its reputation. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Córdoba.